First angle is thirty six, then sixty, one hundred eight, and one hundred two, one hundred fifty two. Question number two. If the diagonals of the parallelogram you can find it out by using x also. Let the four angles be three x, five x, nine x, thirteen x, and sum of all the angles will be equal to three sixty. That will give you the value of x. And by substituting the value of x here, you can get the value of each of the angles. Answer will be same, but there is one different matter. Ratio. How you will break up the ratio? You will introduce some variable. You can do it. Question number two: If the diagonals of the parallelogram are equal, then show that it is a rectangle. So this is the property about the rectangle that the diagonals of the rectangle are always equal. Rectangle is a type of a parallelogram in which the in which one angle is ninety and diagonals are equal. Now in this question, you have to prove that you have to show that it is a rectangle. So whatsoever you have to show, you will draw that figure. You have to show that it is the rectangle. So for making it a rectangle, you will start with a rectangle. 
Now you will suppose that this is a parallel branch. In this, the diagonals are equal. So in the given part, we have ABC is the parallel branch, and AC is equal to B. I have to back to the one. Photo, photo, photo. Tell me which one. And the photo, photo. It is a parallel branch. Parallel branch is given, and it is given that the diagonals are equal. What you have to show is to prove that ABCD is a rectangle. Yesterday we have discussed about the definition of rectangle. That rectangle is a type of a parallelogram with one angle ninety. Rectangle is a type of a parallelogram. It is already given that it is a parallelogram. Now one more thing you have to show that each angle, the one angle is a right angle. So we show them. Rectangle by definition is a type of a parallelogram. It is already parallelogram. You just need to show that if one angle is ninety. So you can show any of the angle as right angle. That's it. This will show that A B C D is a rectangle. This is a parallelogram. Opposite angles are equal. A and B are equal. This is a rectangle. So, but you just need to show that one angle is a right angle. How you will show that one angle is a right angle? By formula and see. If you take these two triangles, which are having these two diagonals as one of the sides, you will consider the two triangles. In which these two diagonals are the sides. So, a triangle will be ABD, and the another one is ABC. AC and BD are equal. This is equal to this. It's given. AB AD is the base common, and this side is equal to this side by opposite sides of the parallelogram are equal. So, with this, we have shown that two triangles are congruent because Which property by which property? Triple S. Bhavan ji ne batao. We can't remove parallel. Aap isi ne batao. Hamne 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 isi ne <laughs> Now these two triangles are congruent by triple S, and you have to show that this angle is ninety. From this triangle, this angle A, and from this base triangle, this angle B are equal. Why A and B and B are equal? <laughs> these two angles are equal. Sides are already parallel. This is a transversal. So sum of these two angles is one eighty. By four eighty, so each angle is nine. Each angle is will be ninety because by they are equal. So if I are equal, so we say four eighty is equal to four eighty. So each angle will be better than by that. Linear pair is formed when angles are forming at a certain point. They have different angles. Well, A B or A B or Okay, but we are considering the base triangle. So in the base triangle, C D is not a part of the triangle. If you take these upper two triangles, listen, this triangle and this triangle, then you can take C D as a base. But now we are considering these two triangles in which A B is common, diagonals are equal, and opposite sides of the parallelogram are equal. Hurry up. Draw the figure. Mentioning that we need to do this. So, in triangle ABD, 
and triangle ABC will be equal to AB. AB is equal to BA common. AC is equal to BD given. AD is equal to BC opposite sides of parallel. This implies triangle ABD is congruent to BAC by triple. This implies angle A is equal to angle B by CPC. Angle A plus angle B is 180 degree. So, interior angles both are equal. So, E you will get as 90. This implies parallelogram with one angle 90 degrees is a test. Fifteen, sixteen, twenty-eight, forty-four, forty-five, forty-one. यही से कल भी, यही स्टूडेंट से कल भी जो ऑनलाइन में जिन सब क्वेश्चन ले कर आए। Done. Read out the next question. Draw the figure. Read the next question. So the essay, essay, and. Question number three. Show that if the diagonals of a quadrilateral bisect each other at right angles, then it is a row. So, my dear, आपने जब eight theorems के result लिखे थे seven and जो मैंने आपको result दिखाया था, उसमें हमने result किया था 
if the diagonal bisect each other, then it is a parallelogram. Okay, and its the reverse be here result. If it is a parallelogram, the diagonals must bisect each other. If bisect each other, then parallelogram will form. Parallelogram is then diagonals must bisect each other. So you can use any of the results. No. What you have to show that if the diagonals bisect each other, then the figure is a rhombus. अब आपने ये देखा कि the diagonals bisect each other, then the figure is a parallelogram. Parallelogram बन गई. अब rhombus होता क्या है? Rhombus is a type of a parallelogram with adjacent side equal. Rhombus की definition क्या होती है? Rhombus is a type of a parallelogram with adjacent side equal. So parallelogram तो we have already shown that the result result लिखे it will become a parallelogram. After becoming a parallelogram, if you will show that adjacent sides are equal, then we are done. Okay? So ये rhombus हो जाएगा आपका. So आप पहले लिखोगे it is a parallelogram, then after writing it as a parallelogram, you will show that adjacent sides are equal by congruence. Okay? Draw the figure. What we have to show is it is a rhombus. So what you will draw first? Whatsoever you have to show, you will start with that. This is the rhombus we have drawn. This is A, B, C, D. Given what is given in this question? Diagonal bisect each other. The area one at right. At right. From here, yeah, sorry. Diagonal bisect each other at ninety. So, so what we have to prove here is A B C D is a two as a common. We are not. What we have to if diagonals. Bisect each other as diagonals bisect each other. Therefore, ABCD is a parallel. Okay, parallelogram. Okay. I show you the adjacent side. How you will show that AB is equal to BC? You will take these two triangles. You will take these two triangles. Center is your O point of intersection. As diagonals bisect each other, can we say that OA is equal to OC? OB is equal to OB common. And what else? As the diagonals meet each other at ninety degrees. Okay. One, the side is equal. The side is common, and the angle is ninety. Side angles ten. So we have shown that triangles are congruent by S A S. So if these two triangles are congruent, can we say that these two sides are equal by C C C? Yes. So that is it will become a triangle. Any doubt? A O B and triangle. A O B and another triangle is B O B. B O B. Don't start with B because we call for any to B. So we B O. So we will start from. So this implies A O B is equal to O C. What's the reason for this? Diagonal bisect each other, or you can write given. Diagonal bisect each other. B O B is given in the question for this. Write given here. This is common and. What the third reason? Cob. Is equal to Cob. Ninety degrees. Ninety degrees. Because this implies triangle AOB is congruent to Cob by SC. This implies CB is equal to CB. Parallelogram with adjacent sides. Each 
Next question. Question number four. Show that the diagonals of the square are equal and bisect each other at right. Listen, rhombus has two properties. Diagonals are not equal, but bisect each other at right. You have done the question, previous question, and this result was there. Rectangle has property that diagonals are equal. And bisect each other, not at right. Okay, you have to be a lot confusing. Rhombus is diagonal equally, okay, but bisect at right angle. Rectangle is diagonal equal, okay, or bisect at right but not at 90. But square has more property, it has three properties related to diagonal. Diagonals are equal, bisect each other at right angle. It's a three property. Now in this question, you have to show that a square is there and the diagonals of the square are equal. You need to show that diagonals of the square are equal. We want to show these AC and BD as So what do you do for this? Triangles. You will do triangles congruent. So after proving them congruent, you can take their corresponding sides. So which triangle you will consider? ABC ABAB. At least you have to consider those two triangles. Ab koi bhi le sakte. Maine AB ko base liya. Ab BC ko base le sakte. AC ko base liya. BC ko bhi le sakte. AC ko nahi le sakte. Side ko. Apne aise triangle le liye jisme AC aur BD as a side aur. Base you will take the side. Jevelin ko triangle le liye. ये दो ये दो ये वाला और ये वाला। ऐसे ये भी ऐसे दो इसमें डायगोनल्स भी आते हैं आर कंसीडरिंग दीज टू ट्रैंगल्स देखो और ट्रैंगल्स की आवाज बन करो कुछ सेकंड ट्रैंगल you are taking these two friends. AB, AB. These two sides are equal. Why? Square is the type of rectangle and opposite side is equal. And square itself has all the sides as equal. So these two sides are equal. And one more thing. 90. Side, angle, diagonal. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? आपकी तो अपनी क्लास चल रही है क्या तो आप कर क्या रही हो तुम्हें क्यों बैठ कुछ नहीं कर रही है ये तो प्रॉब्लम है कुछ 
कुछ नहीं कर रहे तब भी ये सुन नहीं रहे अब क्या कान में आई बोलू आपके साइड एंगल साइड से ट्रेंगल क्या हो गए बाय सीटी सीटी यू कैन से दैट ए बी इज इक्वल टू सी डी बी डी हम शो क्या कर रहे हैं ए सी एल डायगोनल को इक्वल कर रहे हैं ए ए बी इज इक्वल टू बी डी गिवन ए बी सी डी इज अ स्क्वायर ओनली दिस थिंग इज गिवन फर्स्ट थिंग वी वांट टू शो दैट ए सी इज इक्वल टू बी डी Second thing we show that we will show that diagonals bisect each other. Bisect each other. का क्या मतलब है? Equal angles भी मतलब क्या है? Bisect क्या नहीं है इसका? Diagonals bisect each other. क्या show करना है? बोलो वो वही से पूछ रही हूँ मैं. हाँ? Bio is equal to bio. ये शो करना और थर्ड क्या शो करना है कि ये जो एंगल है ये नाइनटी ठीक है डायगोनल्स इंटरसेक्ट है बाइसेक्ट है हम चाहते थे लिख सकते थे एंगल वन टू थ्री फोर को नाइनटी शो करना वो लिख सकते ऐसे लिखो या वैसे लिखो ऑप्शन में विच एंगल यू विल कंसीडर फॉर इन ट्रायंगल A B C and B A D. A B is equal to B A common. B C is equal to A B sides of square. Answer. And what else? Angle A is equal to angle B. C ninety. So this implies triangle A B C is congruent to C D. Why? Excellent. Excellent. Triangle is congruent. So this implies. AC is equal to BD. This is the answer. Why? This is the diagonals are equal. Now, second point we want. Let's stop writing. Okay. The second point we want to show that the equal and the same. What do we do for this? Which triangle we are going to show that for? ABO and ODO. A AOB and COD. You will consider these two triangles. So both are equal. Are they? What do we do? At least square the side of the pentagon. So these sides are parallel, and this is a. So this angle is equal to this angle. This angle is equal to this angle, and AB is equal to AB is equal to CD. Angle side angle. Triangle so, what is it? Diagonals bisect हो गए, second part भी है। In triangle AOB and triangle COB, angle one is equal to angle two, angle three is equal to angle four. Diagonals bisect each other. Okay. 
एक चीज और एडिट प्रूफ करने के लिए क्या